Hey folks, I wanted to talk to you about activity 3.1.5, and this is part one. What I have up on the screen right now is what you should have had, at least this chunk here. You should have had this from the packet. You should have just copied it as is. I first want to talk though about the task description. For my students, I'm not too terribly picky with the first couple parts of this, but when you start getting into activity four and five, I really want you to start getting better at writing the task description. So in this case, I kind of talk about this like the task description is just what you'd say to a buddy. Pseudocode is maybe what you would tell me. And then in task main, that's what you tell the computer. So task description is as simple as create account based while loop. So account based while loop that turns the motor on at three fourths power for two seconds, then off for two seconds, three times. Then you have to tell me under the pseudocode a little bit more step by step in the order. This is the kind of stuff that I need to have. I need to initialize a a motor count variable. I need to set motor count to zero, otherwise who knows where it starts. While motor count is less than three, turn on the, instead of right motor, I am going to use left motor for this video. Um, I'm also using Eli and Skyler's test bed. They did a good job making it, so that's the one I'm using. And we're gonna turn motor off for two seconds and that, and that kind of repeats. So while the loop is still meeting that condition. Let's show what's going on down here. We have our beginning and end of our task main, so that's the stuff that the computer actually reads. Then below that, we have our uh, declaring the variable. So we are initializing the motor count, and we call it you know, motor count. Make sure you spell that correctly. I've had so many kids that have issues just because they can't spell the same thing uh, the same way twice. And then we have to set it to zero, and then we say while that motor count is less than three, go through this stuff. That's the, right here, this is the, beginning of the motor count loop and in there it does this it starts the motor it waits it stops the motor it waits and at the end of that we have our motor count equal motor count plus one so let's say it starts off at zero I run through this what is it when it goes back through and checks to see if this is true well now it's at one because it was zero plus one so it comes through at one it adds one so now I'm at two is that still less than yep so I run through now I'm up to three, is that less than three? No, it is not, so I am done. And I skip out of that loop and go to here. Oh, wrong slashes, there we go. And loop, all right. Now they ask us to modify this, and I wrote this way up here in the top right corner. We're gonna run motor back and forth 20 times, and we're gonna do half second intervals. So half seconds each way. We need to change this now. We're gonna leave it as motor count, starting at zero, but this needs to be 20. And left motor, we're going to have this shortened though. Instead of two seconds, it's now 0.5 seconds. Same thing down here. This is gonna be 0.5 seconds. And once we get done, we're gonna make sure it adds one. And this now should be good. Let's add some comments though off to the right. This top one I have, we're declaring our variable. I guess I should say initializing variable we're telling the motor count to start at number zero now we're looping while the variable is less than in this case 20 we just changed that begin sorry beginning of the motor count loop we are starting motor starting motor at uh, i think that's three fourths speed we are i'm going to just tab this all the way over keep it prettier we are waiting half second I'm going to copy that so control C come down here and I'm gonna paste it here and now this is stopping motor this code should be good to go let's run compiler to make sure everything's okay it is no errors popped up in the bottom if it is I bet you left off a semicolon somewhere in here download it to the robot You'll notice once that happens, nothing is gonna happen right away, but then it's going to start going through and counting. I'm gonna turn the mic off while we do this, and I'm probably gonna stop it and not have it run all the way through, but make sure you check it so that it actually does run all the way through. So I stopped that so it didn't go all the way through, but you should have noticed that it started, it stopped, or sorry, it started and ran for 0.5, it stopped, and then it, it waited 
and that should go 20 times. Make sure you actually do that 20 times to see if it actually works. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please click that like button down below. If you want to see that next part, I'm going to put it uh, over here in the top left corner. Have a great day, everybody.